This next video is instruction on the melodic minor scale that is part of the requirements for Eastern Regional Orchestra auditions. Just a quick word about how I think about the melodic minor scale and then uh, how to put it together. Um, the melodic minor scale is very similar to the major scale, especially when you are ascending or going up the scale. The only difference is the third step of the scale is a half step lower in the melodic minor scale. So if we're thinking of the one octave scale, the, 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 the first two steps are just like the major, the third is a half step lower, making it minor, and then the rest of the scale is just like the major. Now here's the thing, when we come back down the scale, the sixth and seventh steps of the scale are lowered coming down the scale. So it's different going up than it is going down. Let me demonstrate a one octave melodic minor scale for you, starting on first finger. This will be a D melodic minor scale. Now I got to tell you, on the melodic minor scale, thinking, it, you can certainly think in terms of the finger patterns, but the patterns are not as simple. It's a little more complex because it changes going up um, and coming down. It's different both ways. I really recommend on this scale getting the scale in your ear and then working from there. Let me show you that same D minor scale in three octaves so you can sort of get a feel for what the whole thing sounds like. My recommendation is that you learn one of the melodic minor scales, and I really do recommend that you do the one that starts with first finger on the C string, whether that's D or D flat or E flat, E, F, any of those, because if you learn that one, you then know five, and so I think that's probably the best way to go. Um, uh, get that melodic minor in your ear, know where those finger patterns are going, and it will come together for you. So I hope that little example will help you out as you, um, as you develop your melodic minor scales.